even on YouTube. Me and Charlie's out for a little mooch tonight. Um, it's been a while, so here we are. Um, Try to get out a few times actually, but Charlie's just he's been screaming his heat off and that, so um, can't really fill him when he's doing that. Like so. Uh, anyway, we'll see how we get on. Come on, then, Charlie. Shy. Loads of rabbits on the other side of this hedge, but I just kind of see over the top of it. Charlie. You come in. He's down. Good headshot, I do believe. Sure, for the neck it was just there. Totally, it's totally severed its neck. Yeah, get him back up. So they're getting stuck in as usual. It's getting really high now. You kind of see no over the top of there, man. There's a rabbit there. But <laughs> I'll just leave him more chance of wounding him, like. Rosebs didn't take long. And then he fully right then.
was a good shot. Missed, missed the first couple of shots, like. And he's out in. They were just whizzing over the top of him, the first couple of shots, and uh, I had to readjust my aim, and I got him. Straight into the brain. It's a nice little size. Get him bagged up. Come in, Charlie. You come in. Come on in. Very small species of poppy. Sure, many of them know what these are. Slow berries. They go like a nice purple colour. But uh, when you bite, bite into them, they're extremely dry. And what people use them for is uh, slow gin. You get a bottle of gin and you like prick them with a needle and throw them all in in a big bottle and leave them there for a couple of months and uh, make slow gin like dry makes it a bit more dry I think or something in flavour I don't know but there's not really much you can do with them you can't eat them like they're just too dry I'm just going to sort these out now, get them skinned and that and uh, carry on mooching, might, might still get one on the way back, another rabbit like, so we'll see what happens. Hey YouTube, that's us just heading back now, um, didn't really see much on the way back like, so, uh, but got a rabbit and a wood pigeon, um, so quick little mooch. But my plan is, is to carry this video on tomorrow. I'm gonna cook them up tomorrow. I've got my heart set on a um, on a an Indian curry. Um, aye, so I'm just gonna make something up with the spices and that. Um, try and make it all from scratch. Yeah, so I'll take Charlie down to his little the little river that he likes tomorrow, and then he can just play in the water while I cook up a nice curry. Uh, but what I was thinking is the pigeon. I'm gonna make like I'm gonna slice the pigeon breast up and um, maybe marinate it in some tandoori seasoning or something, um, and kebab that. Just kebab that on the fire, and then have a rabbit curry. I think that I think that sounds really nice. Like I think that'll be nice. So I'm looking forward to that. Hi. Right, so anyway. Get his back for that. Uh, I don't. I don't always plan these things. To be honest, I just come out uh, when I can. Just come out and gun on the mooch, and then these ideas just come to us, you know. So, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it now. I think it'll be dead tasty. Nice rabbit curry. Right. So, uh, I'll get his back then. Then. Hello, YouTube. Right. It's the next day now, so I've just. Stopped off at uh, Tesco, got myself some supplies and that, some tomatoes and some ingredients that I need. Um, now we're headed down to the little river uh, and cook up a nice rabbit curry. So 
Well, that should be nice. <laughs> Just got out the car and there's a deer stand in there. Got a few fleas by the look of it. <laughs> Hello I do believe. It's a bit big to be a road yeah. Get some nice steaks off that you would. <laughs> So he's not hanging around for me the day. <laughs> oh wow. This has changed. We've had a lot of rain so all the water's pushed all the stones up here. It's, uh, it's washed out a lot of my firewood over there as well by the look of it. So the first thing I want to do is what I've done this morning was uh, I just chopped all the meat off the rabbit, save as preparing it when I'm here. Uh, and there's the wood pigeon all sliced up as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, put some marinade in here. What I'm going to use for that is this tandoori masala powder. It's actually two years out of date. It's been sat in the back of my cupboard for ages, but shout out to the Aries. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to mix yogurt in with it and just mix it up with that. So put yogurt in there with that, that tandoori masala and, that, and just leave that for an, By the time I get everything else sorted out, it will have been marinating for about an hour. So. It's best, it would be so much better I left overnight marinating like, but never mind. Hi. Right, so I'm going to get that done now. There we go. You them to sit in there marinating for a little while in the yoghurt and uh, stuff, seasoning. Right, now I'm going to get the rest of the stuff set up. <laughs> Charlie, love and life. <laughs> Can never have enough fun and water him like. Yeah, uh, right, so this is going to be my little cooking space. <laughs> I know it doesn't look very organised. Got all the spices and that there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get his soup on first. Give me soup because he's getting hungry. And, uh, Use our chopping board and just chop up my onion and my tomato and all that and uh, have it all prepped and then we'll get cooking. Charlie, so he's just gonna have to eat it out of this. Sure, that won't bother him. I've actually forgot a knife of pork as well. I've only got a teaspoon between both of us, so he'll have to use this as well. <laughs> he usually uses his hands anyway, like. That nice. Stop 
up by dicing up this tomato nice and fine. These big vine tomatoes. Probably just use the two of them, I think. Using old faithful. I've this knife out seven years, I think, and uh, pretty much use it for everything. <laughs> started now. Collect a little bit of wood there because um, I'm going to skewer my wood pigeon that's in the marinade. I'm going to skewer it, kebab that on there and I'm going to have the curry uh, and then I'm going to have that with the curry sort of thing. Then for rice I've just got this Uncle Bell, Uncle Bell's pilo, Uncle Bell's pilo rice. That'll do. Right, there we go. Put the fire on quickly. Once that starts, when that burns down, we'll be able to get the kebabs on on the grill. Um, I cheated a little bit, like I used the fire light the other day because I know it's been heavy rain and everything's soaking wet. So, we won't hold that one against us. Um, right, so hi. Onion, tomato, diced up. I'll be using. Duck fat today to cook with, not uh, vegetable oil or nothing like that. Um, and I've got some lazy garlic, coconut milk, coriander. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should be delicious. Right, fire's starting to die down a bit now, so I whittled this little stick out of hazel. I'll get the wood pigeon in this now. Well coated that like nice thick chunks. We've got the heart and gizzard in here as well. Right, there you go. Heart and gizzard on the end of it. That smells lovely that day. <laughs> Big old pan. <laughs> right, so let's turn that on now, start heating the pan up. Get some goose fat in. Sorry, duck fat. Got a knob of that in there. Right, so the first ones I'm going to chuck in is some cumin seeds. Not quite hot enough. Right. Teaspoon of them. A few cardamom seeds. A few cloves. Lazy garlic. She has frozen crushed ginger. And then we'll chuck the onions in.
Just gonna let them sort here down a bit more. And we'll add a few more spaces in there. Ram masala. Two teaspoons of that. Mix spice. One of those, two of them. Be careful it doesn't burn at this point. Right, I'm going to get the tomatoes in. This mild chili powder. Let's get a nice colour going. Right, now I'm going to add some. Uh, this medium curry powder or two two of them as well a little bit more right right so the fire's getting there Charlie's just having a ball <laughs> um, I, what I normally do in the house when I'm cooking this, right, is I get all this, this, I do all the sauce first like this, and then I put it in the blender and I blend it so it goes into a, just a lovely sauce. It's so much nicer, like, but obviously I haven't got a blender to do that today, so I've tried to cut everything as fine as possible, but I don't mind, I don't mind the lumpiness in it, to be honest. Smelling good. Now I'm just going to add some, um, Tomato puree as well. Make two tablespoons full. Right now, what I'm going to add is coconut milk. Transformed at that. Beautiful. Actually, one thing I forgot to put in was uh, salt. To give it a little extra sweet kick, I put some sweet cinnamon in. All right, so put, put a bit too much in there. Alright, so put the cinnamon in, and then magic ingredient. What really helps it out and really. Just gives it a little sweet kick. Some honey. Mm. Two of them. 
Right guys, I've got my cutty and I've only got one 10 mil lead, right? So I'm gonna try and take this pine cone out with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never brought my ammo with us, I've just found that one round in my bag, so, oh well. <laughs> hey guys, it's been about five minutes just simmering there, so I'm just going to throw the, the rabbit in now. A marinating rabbit. Yeah, so that'll just cook away nice and slowly now. And, um, I'm really, really looking forward to it actually. That fire's uh, down enough now as well so I can get this kebab on the go. So I'll do that now. It's time to give this a turn now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks nice. Nicely charred. And then just simmering away nicely there. Um, got that on the go. Charlie's all the way over the other side now. <laughs> Having a good explore. <laughs> you be careful, Charlie. Uh, so I'm gonna get this rice. I'm gonna put this rice in this pot now, and um, it won't take long. It only takes like two minutes, three minutes or something. So I'll just quickly blitz that on the stove, and that'll be it. Done. Once that, uh, once that pigeon's more ready, and I'll, I'll get tucked in. I'm excited. She might have brought a fork with his leg. Just gonna have to either use that big spoon or the little spoon. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Got the rice done. Maybe should have done proper rice day, right? but never mind. Should have probably had white rice, but never mind. Right. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's not very well presented, but you know, it will still go down. And I love coriander. Lots of coriander. Great. Here goes the test. I've already tasted it like it's lovely. That is, that is really, really nice. It always is really nice actually whenever I make this, but uh, that is nice. Definitely give it a go. By the rabbit. Almost forgot my kebab. Oh, look at that. This is going to be nice. This. It's a gizzard. 
<laughs> so good. Really, really nice, man. Oh. Absolutely delicious. I'm sorry about these camera angles, by the way. Like, I'm not very good at this. But I've only got my phone. Tastes a lot like butter chicken. That's what it's like. It's like mild and just like butter chicken. There's no butter in it. Could easily sell that in a Indian restaurant easily. And I'm not just saying that. It's really good. Well, I think the secret to a good curry, right, is adding something a little bit sweet. Like normally, people add brown sugar and stuff like that to them. But I just add a little bit of honey and a little bit of cinnamon, and that just gives it that little sweet hint, and it really makes it. When you don't put that in, it's not that nice. Charlie's in the water, love and life. <laughs> From field to plate, <coughs> went out last night, nailed the rabbit and the wood pigeon as you will have seen on the front of this video and then made a delicious meal out of it my son's having loads of fun it's peaceful, no one's bothering us eating it up in a nice curry, you kind of beat it man <clears throat> and w when you're out here doing this right you're not thinking about anything you know I think a lot of people are like caught up in the mind a lot of the time and um, suffering their own mind you know with daily life and stuff like that with all the problems and that but when you get outdoors and you start doing stuff you don't even think about any of that it's quite therapeutic I think you know when you go out mooching and stuff like that you're not thinking about anything really your focus is on your prey and just you're out there doing it you know what I mean yeah uh, but I'm pretty sure you probably don't want to sit and watch me eat this like so I'll probably just end it here um, but if you liked it, give us a like, um, leave us a comment if you want, and subscribe if you're new, and try and make another one shortly. Thanks a lot, take care, bye.